Dear Cancer, I'm writing you a letter to give you an update and review on my condition, both physically and mentally. As you recall, I was diagnosed with AML on May 28, 2021. It was a complete surprise. I went to the ER thinking I had a blood clot in my leg, only to be told that my white blood cell count was 131,000 and that I probably had leukemia. I stayed in the ER until a bed opened up and I was transferred to Baptist East Hospital. The fifth floor East Oncology Wing became my home. I was in a state of shock. Nothing like this had ever happened to me before. After suffering a small stroke in 2019 and now diagnosed with leukemia, I thought maybe my body was trying to tell me something. Little did I know I was going into a life-changing experience. The next morning, a pick line was with four injection points was inserted into my right arm. I was administered chemo that looked like egg yolks the first day, and then clear chemo for the next seven days. I didn't feel bad while taking the chemo, but the next week I felt really bad and actually don't remember much of that week at all. It didn't take me long to realize that my soul was going to have to furnish strength and peace to my being through prayer. My wife stayed with me every day and my family called and FaceTimed with me as well. All said they were praying for, the, for me and that's what I needed to hear. I wanted so badly to go home, but there was no way I was ready. Right after my chemo treatments, I was confronted with a couple of obstacles. The first was tremendous pressure on my chest and shortness of breath with just standing. It was diagnosed as AFib or cardiac fibrillation. That was resolved with medication prescribed by my cardiologist. The next obstacle was liver failure. I turned jaundice and the doctors felt like the AML had metastasized to my liver. Needless to say, they went over my liver with scopes, probes, and x-rays, but they couldn't find cancer. The liver failure wound up being attributed to the chemotherapy. Fortunately, a liver specialist was able to give me a drug to jumpstart my liver. And my liver values began to improve after three or four days. I realized that medical expertise, my body's reaction to the various treatments, in concert with my family and faith, were going to bring me through my cancer. After the chemo treatments, I couldn't or wouldn't eat. It's hard to describe that feeling of not wanting to eat. But chemo just ruins any sort of appetite. It kills your stomach lining cells and extinguishes any type of hunger you have. But once I made it through chemo, AFib, and liver failure, I started on the road to feeling normal again. My wife and the nurses told me and kept me going and inspired me to, to keep trying to feel better. My wife told me every day that I couldn't go home until I started eating and getting stronger. 28 days later, I finally went home. The scariest thing about cancer is that it's totally out of your control. Patients have to rely on physicians and the strategies they have used to have the biggest margins of success. This experience has taught me to savor the flavor of life and have a strong faith. It really helps to imagine Jesus standing next to you and to love the Lord first and remember always to treat people the way you want to be treated. Fortunately, all my treatments worked and I went into complete remission. My liver grew stronger and four months later, in November of 2021, I underwent a stem cell transplant. 
My donor was a perfect 10 of 10 marker match. And everything went well during the transplant and for several months afterwards. But then my new donor cells started to lose the battle to my original cells. My doctor was able to diagnose that my blood cells had another mutation and without correction, I would have another blast of leukemia. Thankfully, there's a drug in existence that converts the mutated cells back to normal cells. So I started treatment for the mutations and I was given a booster stem cell transplant in November of 2022. The same donor stepped up and donated again and in my book, he is a true hero. So here I am, over two years later, cancer free and thankful every day that you did not win. And to quote an old movie line, love actually is all around. Sincerely, Prentice Turner.